And here they are for the 129,000 World Trotting Derby for Phillies. One is Family Trust, owned by Lindy Racing Stable, East Windsor, Connecticut. Osvaldo Formia trains. Tony Morgan will drive this three-year-old Victory Dream Philly. Her stablemate, 1A, Benedicta Jet, owned up by Lindy Racing Stable of East Windsor, Connecticut. Osvaldo Formia, the trainer, Mike Lachance, drives the three-year-old daughter of Donna Rail. From two, post two, post one actually, wearing saddle pad two, Victory My Way, owned by David McDuffie, Tom Walsh Jr., and Irving Liverman of New Hampshire, New York, and Canada. Jimmy Tactor trains David Miller, the driver. Another filly by Donna Rail. Three, Yankee Topaz. Owned by Bill Wright, Mystical Marker Farms, and Don Coleman, all of Illinois. Dirk Simpson trains. Dave McGee drives the Lindy Lane filly. Four, Vikings Goddess. Owned by the PH Stable, Lost Revenue Stable, by Abata and Rich and Poor Stable of New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Luxembourg. Pair Henriksen trains and drives a three-year-old filly by Armbro Goal. Five, speeding down the lane. Owned by Jim Longfellow of Carmel, Indiana. Dirk Simpson, the trainer, John Campbell is up. Another daughter of Lindy Lane, five, speeding down the lane. Six is Do Re Mi, on by the Joie de Vie farm of Jobstown, New Jersey. Pair Erickson trains. Eric Ledford gets the call. A filly by Pine Chip. Seven is Judge Judy, on by Doug Ackerman Stables, Inc. of Laporte, Indiana. Doug Ackerman trains. D.R. Ackerman drives. The three-year-old Garland Lobel daughter. Eight, Rompaway Tricia. On by Rompaway Farms, Inc. of Battle Creek, Michigan. Mark O'Mara trains and drives the filly by Armbro Goal. A number nine winning chip on by Animat Miner of Delray Beach, Florida. Dwayne Miner trains and drives. Another filly by Pine Chip. That's the field. 129,000 on the field line. at the post, and the gate is moving. First heat of the World Trotting Derby for Phillies. Here they come. They're off and trotting in a beautiful start. Judge Judy will lead them on the outside of her. Romp away. Trisha gets out second. Far outside, rushing third. Comes Benedict Jet down along the inside. Getting away well is Yankee Topaz. Still a three-way battle for the lead. Judge Judy had it. But on the inside, sneaking up, there's Yankee Topaz. Now she leads for McGee momentarily. Judge Judy on the outside now takes command. Romp away. Trisha is third. Fourth to the inside. Victory my way. Five is Vikings Goddess. Trotting six. Do Re Me. Seven is Family Trust. Racing eight now. Benedict Jet nine. As they race past the quarter is winning chip and after mistake still off stride speeding down the lane is 10 they're off the turn down the back stretch 27 one good front quarter to the outside there goes yankee topaz and mcgee quickly moves her she's now on top before the half she leads it by a length a length and a half and underway on the outside here comes victory my way miller sends her early she is pursuing the lead before the half and she has it on the outside victory my way takes over yankee topaz covered second moving up comes vikings got his third locked in for judge judy fifth on the outside ranging up comes Do Ray Me to the inside, racing six now as they race around the turn is Romp Away Tricia. They drive off the half in 56 seconds. They're headed toward the three-quarter. Nine are in contention. The leader is Victory My Way. Second as they drive that way and only a length and a half off the lead is Vikings Goddess. Now here comes a very fresh Do Ray Me and she's charging toward the front. Behind her underway is Family Trust. Racing uh, on the outside, also moving up, is her stablemate, Benedicta Jet. They've just raced past the three quarters, and the leader now at the top of the lane is Victory My Way. Soon to move to the outside of her will be Do Re Me. They were there in 125. They're in the final eighth mile, and here comes Do Re Me to the outside. Family Trust is with her as they race through the lane, but the leader is Victory My Way. Family Trust is second. Do Re Me is third. And at the wire, it's going to be winning the first heat of the World Trotting Derby for Phillies. Victory my way. Family trust was two. Tight photo for three. In that photo will be Do Re Me and Romp Away Tricia. Fifth to Benedict Jet. Judge Judy was six. Yankee Topaz seven. Winning chip was eight. Vikings Goddess finished nine and speeding down the lane is ten. 154 four. Judges have called for a photo for show. No photo for the win. That's victory my way handily over family trust.
Ladies and gentlemen, winner of the first heat of the World Trotting Derby for Phillies, on by David McDuffie, by Thomas Walsh, Jr., by Irving Liverman, trained by Jimmy Tactor, driven by David Miller, victory my way. Victory My Way, the Donna Rail filly from a joie de vie mother, a magic cousin, bred by Harvey Gold. Now into Victory Lane goes Victory My Way and trainer Jimmy Tactor. And that is one of many trips that Jimmy Tactor has made into DuCoin's Victory Lane where he has won the World Trotting Derby for Colts and Phillies a number of times, and he too is an accomplished driver. Just yesterday, we saw him finish second with a pacing filly here, an Illinois bred. So Jimmy Tactor, recognized as one of the leading trainer drivers ever from the very prolific nation of Sweden, vis visits the familiar victory lane at DuCoin. With him, his wife, Christina, the Tim Wilson family of Martinsville, friends of the Tactors, and owners McDuffie Walsh. And Liverman. There she is, handily in 54 and 4, winning the first heat for Phillies. Victory my way. It was 1999 when Enjoy Levesque won the World Trotting Derby here for trainer Jimmy Tactor. And that day, Johnny Tactor, his brother, drove the great trotter to that 152 all-time record in this stake. The Tactor's father, also a prominent driver,